So we are just going to get right into today's video just so it's not two hours long. So this is my actual candle making station. So I got this stainless steel table from Uline. It has been super helpful. As you can see, it is not super clean right now, but you know, this is life. So I have everything set up right here. I have my two digi boils. They each have different kinds of wax in it. Then I have my beeswax pot right in the middle. And um, I also have the little um, stand right there that holds it up, which is super, super helpful. And for the longest time, I had to actually bring something up right there below the table and actually be able to pull up my digi boil as you've probably seen in different videos but chris and i went to lowe's a couple weeks ago and uh, we actually found these cinder blocks cinder blocks are so cheap and uh, we got them and they fit basically perfectly on there if the cinder blocks were any smaller it would not fit but they seem to work just fine it can hold the weight of, of all the wax and it has made candle making so incredibly so much easier and down below obviously you can see it's not the neatest area of the candle making studio because I really need to get some kind of shelving unit down there to really organize my fragrance oils because I, I have my fragrance oils right there and then I also have more fragrance oils down there as well so I got to do something to organize that a little bit better I also have my respirator mask right there that I make or that I wear all the time when I make my candles. Um, my Digiboil, obviously so much splashing from all of the candle making. I have my Memory Box Candle Co. apron that I wear when making candles. And then I also have my shelves. So these shelves are from Ikea. A lot of these items that you will be seeing over here is from Ikea. So I have the tabletop and also the Alex drawers from Ikea. The filing cabinet in the middle, I believe, is from Staples. But these bookcases right here, I believe they're called the Billy bookcases. Um, they have the different sizes and I decided to get this slimmer one for my room sprays and then I have these two over here for all of my candles. So the reason why some of the candles are wrapped up is because I recently just got through uh, doing a bunch of different local markets and I pre-wrap my candles ahead of time when I do those markets and I mean I don't want to I don't want to waste the wrapping paper so if it's already pre-wrapped for online orders as well I just keep them like that. And then I have my um, tripod in the middle for when I do YouTube videos, but I don't need it for this kind of video. And then I also do have, you know, it's not super clean down there either. I have so many different fragrance oils down there. Um, I just did the video on the South Florida candle supply. So those are all the fragrances from there. And then um, moving along over here, I have my printer. So I print out all of my own labels all of the labels that I use for my room sprays, my candles, any possible labels that I print out, I um, will use this printer. So I will get up close just so you can actually read what it is. This is the exact printer that I use. It is very expensive and absolutely not necessary for starting a candle business, but it's amazing just in general as a printer. I use it for so many other things. Um, and it's nice to be able to hook it up to my phone through an app and just print out things. Um, and then I also wanted to just share my little YouTube plaque that I have for hitting 100,000 subscribers. I really wanna get something else to put right there. I feel like it's kind of, you know, just alone right there. I gotta get something else, maybe like a photo of some kind. And then um, just real fast, I'll show you what's in the drawers and just kind of explain how I organize everything. So the first drawer is different paper. So I have my paper that I use for my thank you and candle care cards. I know you're not able to see it, but these are perforated into four different um, cards that you can use, print out, and then be able to tear off the cards. I also have more paper and more cardstock in there as well. Down there I have, these are all of my wicks that I personally use for my candles. And then these other ones are just kind of extra stuff that I have, extra wicks and, and extra supplies and stuff. And then inside of my filing cabinet, I have everything organized for all of my scents that I have. So within here, I don't organize it by, so for instance, I don't have Golden State 10 ounce candles, Golden State room sprays, Golden State wax melts. 
I just have them all mixed up in here in different sizes. It's just the easiest way that I've known how to do it. And then at the bottom, this is where I keep all of my blank labels. So these are all the blank labels for 10 ounce candles. And then I also have it, you know, six ounce, all that kind of stuff. Um, my candle kits. And then I also have, I wanted to utilize this for all of my legal stuff too. So I have all of my tax documents. I have my legal documents. I have any receipts that I haven't put into QuickBooks yet. Uh, this is this is burritos. Um, I also make Chris lunches all the time. There's no, there, there's none in there. I forgot that I had that in there, but yeah, I make Chris lunches all the time. And I, I had made these little stickers to put on his uh, burritos for lunches. Um, and then moving on over here, this is basically like that random drawer that you have in your house that has a bunch of stuff in it. So I have tools, I have a hammer, I have uh, different screwdrivers. I have a couple different masks in here. Um, I also have hand warmers. So I have just a bunch of random stuff in there. This doesn't really have anything in it. I need to figure out something to do with it. And then these are all of my, um, my wick holders that I use. So I have those for the 10 ounce and then those for the six ounce. I get these from um, an Etsy shop that I will have linked in the description. So I have those all in there. And then these ones are just kind of, again, random drawers of different, you know, products I've made and I don't know where to put it. And then up here doesn't always, I know this is gonna sound funny, but it doesn't always look this clean. Um, so I just have a bunch of random stuff, some tools over there. I have a bottle of alcohol. Um, I have some stuff right there that I use, just different tools, cotter pins. I have a spoon for wax melts. And then I also have my wicking device, again, from that Etsy shop. So this is the whole area over here. I also have a table resting right there as well. So this is just the whole area that I actually use when I'm storing my finished candles and when I also make my candles as well. And then I am going to actually, here I'll show you what it looks like when I turn this way. And this is what it looks like on this side of my house. So this is relatively new that I just recently got. Let me actually turn down the ISO so you can see this side a little bit better. So this right here is actually something that I got from Uline as well. And it is, I can't even tell you how much I love this thing. I love this thing so much. It holds all of my wax melts and I get a full row right there. So I basically did all, all of that row right there is the same scent. And it just allows me to hold so many more wax melts at a time and not have to just cram everything on the table over there because that's what I used to do all the time. And then moving along over here, this is actually new. So this whole area right here is new within the last couple of weeks. Um, we actually used to have our desk right here with the computer set up. And uh, we decided to do a bunch of spring cleaning, throw a ton of stuff away, and we moved all of that into our bedroom. So all of like the desk and the computer that we had, um, it's in the bedroom. And I turned this into, of course, this wax melt holder. And I mean, it's, it's pretty big. I think it's, what is it, six by two? I think that that's what that thing is. Um, so this is pretty much my candle kit holding area. So this is all to make my candle making kit. So if you didn't know, I sell candle making kits and um, this is just kind of how I have everything pre-made. I have the wax blocks pre-made in there. I have the um, pictures that go in the kits, wax blocks, wax blocks already um, bundled up and packaged up in bags. I have a ton of thermometers, uh, wax paper. I have a ton of the honey stir sticks that I use and then a bunch of those cotton bags. Those are the little soap molds that I use for the actual wax blocks. Um, and then the lids to all of the jars that I use for the candle making kits, as well as the sizes of the boxes that I use to ship them out with. And then these right here are actually table risers. So I use those when I make candles, I put them underneath the folded tables and it just brings it up to a level to where you don't feel like you're bending over so much to pour the candles, it makes it so much better. And then that is Chris's respirator when he helps me make candles. And then I'm, I am actually gonna show you guys my trash right now. <laughs> so this is a big Uline box that we've had for so long and Chris and I realized that it just, 
our recycle, our little trash can recycle um, trash can, it would get full so fast. And so we decided to just keep this and it makes it so much easier when I have boxes that need to be thrown away or just from the natural like process of you know running a business. You guys know there's so much that, so much trash and so much recycle that kind of builds up. So that's why we decided just to keep that box for that purpose. And then I have these big boxes right here in the middle. Those are for, those are for online wholesale orders. I also have a big uh, bag of the biodegradable packing peanuts. I have more boxes up there for shipping. Um, these are jars and 10 boxes. Um, I have my, this was a mistake from a long time ago, so still trying to figure out what to do with that. I have some prepped jars um, and tens over here, uh, miscellaneous different jars that I have in those uh, bins. And then I have miscellaneous waxes over there on the shelf. Now over here is actually the waxes that I use all the time. So I have my beeswax, I have um, my, I believe that's TW30, and then I have my soy 10 over there. So I have these out. Um, I really, honestly, when we were rearranging everything, I didn't want to have anything on the floor right here, but then I thought I don't wanna have to keep pulling it off the shelf. It just makes it so much easier not to. Um, I recently got these boxes right here. These are actually the Indestructo mailers from Uline and I'm wanting them for a bundle deal for my website. I'll actually show you over here in just a second. And I don't know where to put them yet, so they're just resting right there. I have Brody's chair that is absolutely thrashed, and Brody as well. Uh, he's not thrashed, he is cute, huh honey? Yeah, you're not thrashed. You got a haircut recently. Okay, and then over here is the other side, and this is um, basically just to hold a lot of uh, shipping supply material, so I have more boxes up there. I have my four, I'm sorry, six by six by four inch boxes. I also have, I believe those are the eight by eight by six inch boxes. The 15 by 12 by 10, I use those as well for online wholesale orders. Um, these are just to hold my little samples for the go inside orders. These are things that I need to give away to friends and family. I just put it off to the side. And then I have my little shrink band. So if you're wondering what I use for my room sprays, I, you, I have the little piece of plastic over it to seal it for protection and sanitation and all that. I have these and that's the size and the Uline S number so you can see that. And then I have just little things that I've had for so long that I'm like, I really need to figure out, you know, I, I, I get these ideas, like I've said before, and then I kind of go, uh, maybe not, you know, maybe not. Um, I have that, which I honestly need to start using. That is the temperature controlled bubble wrap that I got from Uline to help uh, possibly make it to where candles don't melt as easily during transit in the summer. And then I have, you know, a bunch of these white boxes that I use. These are for shipping. So this is the size that I use for the tens. I also have the four by four by six for my larger candles. And then coming down here, I have my packing uh, paper. So this is the uh, honeycomb paper that I use to package up all of my candles with. Um, and then this is the size box that I was talking about. So um, I can fit three of the large uh, 10 ounce candles that I sell inside there. And then I have some more bags that I'm planning on using for that as well. Um, and then I also have, so this was from the markets that I need to turn into actual uh, samples to go inside of orders because, you know, we're not going to be at markets for a couple months. So I need to turn it into these. So I have these little bags. These are, these go in all of the orders and then the, these are just the supplies that I use as well. So I, I need to print out more stickers. I add in stickers with all of the orders that I get. And um, I just need to print out some more of those. And then down here, I have some more baskets um, for more or organization. I tried to get a bunch of those from Target and uh, use those. I don't know what that is. I think that's just a box I got and I don't wanna throw it away because it's a nice box. <laughs> And then um, I have just some random supplies down here that I don't use anymore, like tea light cups and all that. This um, is I use to stir for um, making candles as well as room sprays. 
And then this is my room sprays box. So I have all of the pitchers, I have the tops to the room sprays, and then I have all of the ingredients that's needed, including the distilled water, the poly 20, the preservative, all that kind of stuff. And then down there, those are the boxes that I get from clearbags.com to make the sample packs as well as the little, these, these things, the little samples that I use. This desperately needs to be refilled, which I have more in the garage. Um, these are the molds that I get from California Candle Supply that I make my wax melts out of. I also have some more in there. Um, and then these are the lids to my jars. So I have that uh, big, you know, tote of those. And those totes I got from Lowe's a long time ago when I was still doing eBay. And then if we go over here, I have, so this is the device that I use. This device right here, it's attached to this rack right here, but it's to hold my phone when I do like reels or different kind of videos where I really want to um, have a stable surface, you know, while I'm trying to work. And um, I have my little fanny pack, highly recommend it. Uh, it. Has nothing to do with this video, but I use it all the time when I go on walks or hikes or um, even if I'm, you know, just kind of really needing to focus on what I'm doing out and about and I don't want to have something on my shoulder, um, like my purse. Um, I got my new business cards that I just got in the mail. Let's see if I can focus on that. Just got those in the mail. I ordered 500 this time instead of 250, so hopefully that will last me a good amount of time. And all of these little drawers right here, which I highly recommend in terms of storage in a small area, um, I know, honestly, I'm pretty lucky with the area that I do have. The fact that, you know, I'm able to take over the entire living room and the entire dining room for all of this. Um, I don't necessarily know if I would consider it a small area, but that is a sacrifice if you're willing to um, make it work with your stuff that you have. But I say racks and stacking things up high, making use of the space that's vertical, not just horizontal. So I have all of my... Um, little, you know, candle care cards, wax melt, wax melt care cards, um, all of these things that uh, I actually put those in orders for local orders. And um, I have all of that right down here. I have the inserts for the candle care kit or the candle making kits. And then um, these are some wick trimmers in here. Those are just what I use to transport from all of the local events and I haven't yet taken it out yet. And then I have um, this stuff up here, which by the way, all of these things are from Ikea. This is a adjustable desk. So this can go up or down. And I got that from Ikea. I also got this from Ikea. Don't mind the shoes and the messiness right there. Um, but I got this from Ikea. This is just an Alex drawer. I have my Dymo right here. And um, this is just what I use to print out all of my shipping um, labels. So I hook it up into my Mac computer. I also have more peanuts back there for some reason. I have a box cutter thanks to Diana from Terra Simply because I went two years with not having a box cutter. And trust me, you need a box cutter. Um, it makes life so much easier because we go through so many boxes on a daily basis. And then down here, I just have um, some of the gift boxes that I use. And when I say gift boxes, I just mean like the little boxes that I use to package up my candles so they don't break during transit. Um, I have these sizes right here that I use sometimes for room sprays. I haven't used those as much lately because I kind of started packaging them up a little bit differently. Um, I have these that I use for my candle making kits. I also have my poly mailers that I use for first class and then some other kind of like tissue paper and stuff on the bottom. I also have more boxes in here as well as my padded flat rate envelope. So I don't use the padded flat rate envelopes that often when I'm shipping. It just depends on where it's going and if it's going to save me more money or not. And then I have my peanuts right there. I have my crinkle cut paper right there, all mixed and ready to go. And then I have more of that stuff down there at the bottom. 
And now I'm just gonna kind of do an overview and try to see if there's anything else that I didn't talk about. You can kind of see how everything is set up in my living room. I mean, man, do I really just take over everything or what in here? But it works and you know, it is what it is. Brody has his little pillow on the ground. I have these totes right here that really need to be taken to the garage because um, we just needed them specifically for the events that we were doing. Um, but yeah, this is my little candle studio and how I make it work in our 700 somewhat square foot apartment. And it's really just all about sacrifice. If you are willing to make it work for the small space that you are in, and if whoever else you live with is on board too, then that's awesome. But um, I think I'm gonna end today's video right here. If you enjoyed seeing how I organize my apartment to be able to hold all of my candle supplies and everything like that, um, please give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Erica Marie Morris, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.